That's right. Mid Journey Now has video, and very yummy video it is. There's a lot you can do just with the auto settings, without even changing your image prompt, like I did with this one. Because the prompt was so weird, I wanted to see what Mid Journey would do with it. I have many images I have generated with prompts that allow Mid Journey to go wild, leaving everything, including the extends in auto animate, with the original prompt in place actually gave very charming and intriguing results. The next one, because the prompt included swimming fishes and waves with the split level, all I did was auto-animate it with motion slow, and it came out pretty well, don't you think? Actually, my cats love it. This gorgeous boy was auto-animate too, but on the second extend, I changed the motion from slow to fast. This gives him a variety of motion that would not have been there if I used motion slow for the whole animation. The car is auto-animate with motion fast, or should I say fast and furious? But look how the stickers on the car stay consistent, the wheels turn very realistically, and there is little, if any, warping of the car shape. It is pretty incredible. These charming friends started on auto with the original image prompt, but on the extends. I changed to manual animate and put in prompts to make them hold hands and walk away. A good way to achieve camera motion without having camera controls. Now here, of course, it is a no-brainer to start in auto animate with the image prompt intact, because how many ways can you say Gundam eating ramen? I extended it in auto motion slow, and then for the last extend, I changed to manual animate and put in a prompt to make him drink the soup. This lovely creature is from an image a friend generated. I used starting frame and prompted each extend with a new prompt. In this way, we can create a variety of motions. For the last prompt, I prompted her to come in close to the camera and curtsy. It is a good way to bring an ending to a scene. This brave boy is made from an edited image. I used the starting frame and put a consecutively frantic prompt for each extend. Of course it's motion fast. He was supposed to faint at the end, but we can see that he is very stoic and tries really hard to keep his eyes open. It is still incredibly cool, right? the gorgeous, drippy unicorn. Starting frame, but the original image prompt left in place. First, extend the prompt changes to make him drink. The next, the prompt makes him lift his head and look around. And the last prompt makes him turn and gallop away. You can get incredible motion with simple, straightforward prompts. I have no idea what I prompted to animate this delightful dogfish. I just could not resist throwing him into the mix. If you really want to know, please ask in the comments below, and I shall go and refresh my memory. Prompt well, and you can tell a story. For example, focus the first prompt on one character, then extend and prompt about another character, then prompt both for an interaction and finish with a prompt about the main character. You can also get amazing camera motion by prompting the location the character moves to, like falling on the floor, and then introduce a new character and have them interact. If you have multiple components in your starting frame like this, first prompt, move Godzilla and have the bus arrive. First extend, make the bus stop. Second extend, make the waiting man approach the bus. Third extend, man boards bus. And the final extend, bus drives away and you have a full scene. Make camera movement with directional prompts while introducing new things. Stand up, walk down the hill, meet a bunny rabbit, walk back up the hill to the apple tree, share the apples with the bunnies, and sit down.
If you are interested in more videos like this, or a live prompt together session, a question and answer, or even help me with my prompt live, please leave a comment below. I would be happy to do it if enough people are interested. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.